Hello and welcome to all of our viewers from around the world. We have quite a game in prospect here, just waiting for the players to emerge, and we will be underway. And here we have Italy against Germany. I'm Peter Drury, and it's my chance to say that it is an absolute delight to have Jim Beglin beside me. Glad to be here, Peter, and I'm ready to rumble. Jim, which player is best equipped for this game? Well, that's a, a toughie, but I'll go for big Giorgio Chiellini. He may not go about his business in the, in the most stylish fashion, but he's a, a dogged, committed competitor who won't back down without a fight. He's also a very big threat when it comes to set plays. <laughs> I wonder whether that has anything to do with you being a defender once upon a time, Jim. Kadira puts his foot on the gas, goes wide. In with a header! Goal, Germany! A lovely header, but really, it was all about the delivery. Well, look, it's, it's often the timing of the jump that dictates what you can do with any header, and if you get it slightly wrong, then you'll struggle, but that was beautifully met, it really was. Big occasion, big goal, crucial lead. A mixture of good defending and indecisive passing. No progress. Well, that's where he wants it. Goretzka. He's gone out for a throw-in. And it's Tony Kroos. Germany making the ideal start, it is something to build on. Well, then, yeah, that does look a foul, referee's given a free kick. Well, that looks like a final warning, still no card. <laughs> Germany with a set-piece chance. Germany presented with the perfect chance here to open up their lead. Scored inside the first ten minutes to make it 1-0. Lorenzo Insigne, a oh, glorious footwork. Italy get it back again. Tries to dink it in. Oh, terrific run to latch onto it, but the finish is all wrong. Oh, that was a lovely little dink over the top just to get the runner in on the keeper, and what a pity he just couldn't produce a goal from that. Tony Kroos. Jerome Berteng. Looking crossfield, changing the point of attack. Mesut Ozil. Kadira. Tony Kroos. Mesut Ozil passes it through, Royce, where to from here? Whistle's gone, that's a uh, foul. Up he gets! He's done well to get his head on that, but couldn't score. Yeah, they had lots of options in the box there, they've got plenty to chew on at the moment, but no bite. It so nearly came off for him. I would agree. Uh, it's tremendous play. He's full of belief and imagination and hard to contain. Tony Kroos. Goretzka. Now here's the through ball. Massive leap! Back of the net! Two up and threatening to pull clear! 
That is a fine goal, really efficiently done. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous, and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch. Germany take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. That second goal has such a, a polarising effect on prospective moods. I mean, one team are under more pressure now to get the next goal, and the other will fancy their chances of turning two into three. Royce. And it's Insigne. Immobile. Immobile can't hurt you with his back to goal, and I think if they can keep him facing in that direction, then the only thing he can do really is to just lay the ball off, and, and he's not really going to cause much trouble if he continues doing that, so I think they're defending him very, very well. safety well when the keeper lost control of that usually a striker would would react first so that defender deserves praise and that'll be the final action of the first half so your views on the first half Germany now have a decision to make do they look to add to their two goals or will they be confident of defending them they just need to be clear about their second half intentions that's important Germany sitting pretty here at half-time, 2-0 up. Mats Hummels. Now it's Insigne, Immobile. Marco Verratti has got himself a free kick. Well, the ref's been lenient here. I doubt he'll get too many more chances. Now the pass. Great reaction. Good stop. That wasn't easy. Oh, he made that look really easy, Peter, but I can assure you that wasn't a, a routine save. He had to be very switched on there. Loose, who's getting there? It's gone a long way up and away. Not much subtlety, he's launched himself there. No complaints about that challenge, robust but fair. Oh, he did the hard part right, but fluffed the finish. It almost looked like the perfect marriage, the way the long pass was delivered so exactly into the runner's path, and it's a shame it led to nothing. That's one way to make your presence felt. Well, he went at it with great confidence, and it's not going to stop him from trying again. Chiellini. Germany are two up. Looks like a good ball through. That's good defence, uh, plain and simple, good defence. They refuse to allow a turn. Mats Hummels. Well, it's a safety in numbers approach to defending here. Yeah, but dropping deep can bring more trouble, yeah? Well, shots from distance and, and space in wider positions, besides the obvious issue of inviting most of your opposition high up the pitch. Goretzka. Oh, no, that's not the ball he wanted. Played in with accuracy. It's a long ball, but it's not hit its target. How a 
about it. Jerome Boateng. El Sharawi trying to get there. Aimed in towards the centre. And that's been repelled. Oh, and they really should have been made to pay. Well, I think you can only praise that sort of alertness and the way he almost knew what was going to happen. And he got there really early. That was top stuff for me. Gets up to head it! And more, and more, and more! And surely that settles it! An absolute gem of a cross. It made the header simple. Yeah, I just thought he wanted that more than anyone else on the pitch, and it was fully deserved. He gave it everything he had. Italy, their final change. Three without reply. This is becoming a stroll. Who's going to make this theirs? And it's Tony Cruz. Mesut Ozil looks to slip it through. Royce! They've scored! Results no longer in doubt. It's just about how many? That is just remarkable, the amount of bend he got on that. You know, I'm not going to be hard on the goalkeeper because that moved all over the place on its journey. Germany totally rampant here. All the way back and they start again. Chiellini. Forward it goes. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Well, he simply failed to just put a little more oomph behind that. Nicely controlled. Well, he's kicked it out, that's a great save. Look, we know they're behind and need something, but I just wonder whether they're getting a touch anxious with shooting from that kind of distance. Royce. has a look to the possibilities, but in the end it's fruitless. Well positioned to make that interception. And it's Goretzka. Pops it into the area. Over hit and out of play. And the referee has brought play back and showed him a yellow card. Gets it back. Confirmation that there will be four minutes stoppage time. Immobile with the ball through. Can he finish? Fantastic from Immobile! Look, there just wasn't much of a gap to begin with, and to find it, I think it was a fine drive, and I don't think the keeper could have really planned for that. I think he's a bit unlucky in that instance. Italy playing for pride here. The match surely beyond them. 
Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. And on to the semi-final, another hurdle cleared. Next up, the penultimate step. So, Jim, how do you reflect on what...